And this is my week. Let's see. Can I see anything in this theater? Yeah, a little bit. The light's pretty darn poor, though. I think the audio is probably going to be a lot better. Don't want to fall asleep because I don't put it down. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, eat the sugar. No. Go ahead. Eat the sugar. Eat the sugar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just uh, casually video recording young people goofing off. Okay, so it's been like a little over 45 minutes. Just to an hour and still got a little while to wait, but funny how the top part of this whole place has been filled up, but not much of the bottom area has been filled up. But for all the crowd in here, it's well, I was about to say it's not all that noisy, but now I stand corrected. Okay, it's 11.40 now, and they're just now starting to run the uh, little commercial things at the beginning. So we have about 20 minutes, and then we're going to get started with the film. And theater's just really starting to get crowded, so it's probably going to be a packed house. Okay, so they're getting started with the trailers, so after the movie's done, we'll tell you how it went. Okay, folks, it is uh, early in the morning, and just want to uh, let you know that The Hobbit was awesome. I loved it so much, um, and I was really coming um, into the theater with a critic standpoint of the film, and I really wasn't sure what I was going to see, but I loved what I saw. I thought, oh, this is just... Mm. It was very good, brilliant. I mean, the length, uh, yeah, there are a lot of people complaining about the length, and I'm just like, I just, I kept on thinking, like, after every single hour went by, I'm just like, yeah, just keep on bringing them on, bring it more, bring more. So, but I do want to say about uh, some people's opinions, because I've been reading some reviews, and honestly, um, the critics can just shove it right in their, back in their faces, because uh, so many people are criticizing Peter Jackson now, like, oh, he's like, keeping it so long for the money, he's making this now into a trilogy for the money, so many people complaining about the extra scenes, and they're like, wait a minute, this is such a small book, The Hobbit, and why, why is there so many things that's happening outside the book? Well, it's because there are actually things that happen outside of The Hobbit, and if people would actually take a moment and read the whole Lord of the Rings trilogy, included with The Hobbit, and the appendices, you will see that there is actually backstory in The Hobbit, and those things are actually happening during The Hobbit storyline. It's just not written down there. So I am so glad that Peter Jackson is incorporating these things, like the White Council, as well as other villains and stuff, and it's giving it kind of like um, almost Sauron's re-rise to power type of thing going on. I'm satisfied. I'm happy. I, I it, it really doesn't concern me. It actually adds more to the film, in, in my opinion. So, I think it's great acting by the actors. Uh, I, I think uh, Martin Freeman did a great job as Bilbo, um, as well as as well as uh, all the actors playing the dwarves and stuff. I mean, just stellar performance overall. So, The Hobbit, yes, definitely. I am renting it by. I can't wait for the next one to come out. And the rest of you didn't like it and I complain about it. You know what? All y'all, you got George Lucas syndrome. Just get over it and enjoy the film. If not, don't talk about it. Thank you very much. Okay. Anyway, uh, so <laughs> so that's my review of The Hobbit, and uh, and thank you, Priscilla, for that birthday gift. And um, yeah, I'll see you all next week.